Hello guys, this is Silver Fox A. This video is a continuation to my playlist leveled uh, digital ocean infrastructure. In this video, what I'll do is I'll uh, show you guys how you can host your own WordPress blog or websites on digital ocean infrastructure. Okay, so this video is not for those who want to create an account on WordPress.com. This is basically for a self-hosted WordPress portal. We'll start off with creating a droplet. In case if you don't know how to do that, just follow up these steps. Open up DigitalOcean console and click on the create button. There you'll get to see droplet. Here you'll get to see basic configuration uh, options available. These you can select like uh, what OS that you want, billing cycle. You can choose whatsoever you want. For the demo purpose, I'll go off with the minimum one. And then the data center region. Uh, I'm based out of Bangalore, so I'll just select the nearest data center region and you can opt out of this private networking backups and all those other stuff that you want. Once you're satisfied with your set of configuration, just enter a name uh, for your droplet. Here I have selected a basic droplet with uh, Ubuntu running uh, on top of that just to show you guys how you can start up from scratch uh, instead of having a once uh, click applications installed. It will take probably a minute or so for DigitalOcean to configure your droplet with the set of uh, configs that you have selected. Once the droplet has been configured, you get an IPv4 address for whatsoever the droplet that you will be creating. And we can you can use this IP to check out your website. For this video, I won't be linking a domain. Uh, it's just to show you how to host a WordPress blog or the website. In case if you want to know how to configure a domain for a droplet on DigitalOcean, uh, what I'll do is I'll link, I'll, I'll put a link to one of my previous videos that shows how to add a domain and host your website uh, live on DigitalOcean. The IP won't be working because we just uh, got an OS installed, but we don't have the Apache server running. Before we can install WordPress, we have to install a few other set of steps. Uh, that includes Apache server, MySQL, MySQL server. From now just uh, follow the steps and it's all command line driven so you basically get certain set of commands that need to in, um, type in to get it installed. For Mac users just open up terminal and for Windows users you can use putty and basically use the SSH command to connect to your droplet using the IP and the username. Now you will be uh, like you must have got a mail uh, to your um, to the email address that you use to create your digital version account. Now they will give you a password. This is the initial password that uh, um, gets reflected when you create a uh, droplet, and they expect you to change it in the first time. You you try to log into your droplet, enter your uh, new password. It's recommended that uh, we don't use root password to access our droplet rather than uh, rather we just create a new sudo user. Okay, let's uh, install Apache server. For that, you need to type in sudo apt-get install Apache 2. Here, 2 stands for version 2. Uh, it will install Apache as long as it's not showing any error. You are good, so don't worry. Now you can actually hit your IP address to see uh, it's running, uh, like it's basically working because your Apache server is running. Now we need to install MySQL and MySQL server. Hit sudo apt-get update to ensure you have all the latest packages installed. Now let's install MySQL server. To do that we have to type in apt-get install MySQL server. It will ask you for a certain set of permission whether you want to continue and allocate certain space for setting Y. Enter the root user password and uh, confirm the same. And it will basically uh, it will go about completing the installation process. Oh. After this, we need to install PHP MyAdmin. This uh, just a graphical user interface for the MySQL. So you can handle uh, everything that you could do using MySQL command line, but in a graphical representation.
for that type in the following command which will install PSP MyAdmin along with that it will install certain other set of packages that uh, MyAdmin would require to get it installed uh, properly during the installation process it will ask for few set of options just follow up the steps uh, I have uh, covered basically all of it in case if you find any sort of queries uh, you can just put it in the comment section I'll try to answer as soon as possible hit yes enter the php my admin password this is the one that you will use to access php my admin console we need to enable few other set of uh, mode and also enable rewrite uh, engine uh, so that you can access uh, let's say the domain slash php my admin I'm certain I will get an error because uh, this happens every single time yeah uh, it says uh, slash php my admin uh, doesn't exist so that's this uh, what you can do is you can just google it out and probably land up on this particular page uh, what I'll do is I'll just post the link in the description uh, you need to enter this command and terminal to ensure the slash page my admin URL works Now use the root password that we just created. For our uh, WordPress website, we'll create a new database. Uh, you can just name it whatever you want. And it's uh, highly recommended that you don't use your root password anywhere on the WordPress uh, configuration files or uh, other places. So what we'll do is we'll create a new user account this new user won't have the admin privileges right uh, it can just do the normal data querying operation and uh, uh, table creation and few other steps but not all okay now let's go install wordpress one final step that is uh, bef uh, before we go about installing wordpress we need the curl and few other set of extensions and the packages installed so just type in this particular command here uh, it will install the required once that's done uh, we'll use curl to download the wordpress um, files from the data repo in the apache config file we'll just to one minor change that is uh, put this allow override to all now let's uh, enable rewrite mode type in this config test command to check if everything is working fine now let's download wordpress use curl and uh, get it from the wordpress repo oh, shit. okay so by mistake i have uh, downloaded it on the root directory uh, what you need to do is push it to triple uh, w directory or else you can put it in the html directory as well and jpt using tar command okay we'll push it to html directory so that you can just access the domain slash wordpress because we don't want to configure the subdomains now now we need to assign permission to the folder specific one actually the content folder and few other set of folders and change this w 
pick config sample to wp config so you can use the copy command cp to do that or you can basically do move now let's uh, modify the settings uh, here we need to enter the database credentials uh, and a few other set of stuff just follow up on this okay uh, we need to enter database name we already created uh, that is wordpress and the username that uh, we just entered okay now the password okay we will select data querying and the structure and reference from the administration that's all we need okay done what choice password okay, okay the rest all are good but now here we need to enter okay just copy this url this will give you certain set of um uh, keys that wordpress would require okay just copy the entire part here Come back here, comment it out. We will add one more option that basically has to do with the file upload. So we can actually uh, upload certain theme files directly from the WordPress dashboard. Okay, that's all we had to do. Now let's restart the Apache server and uh, we basically need to assign permission to the folder so what i'll do is i'll just uh, assign it to the entire level uh, in the sense so uh, the top layer but you need to do it for uh, wp admin content and includes so just assign double uh, seven five permission okay missed to push WordPress directory to the HTML directory. Finally, it's done. Okay, uh, now you can access our WordPress blog, also the website using the domain or the IP slash WordPress, cause our domain redirects to HTML directory and we have a WordPress directory within our HTML directory. Okay, it might be confusing, but it's okay. Just for the timing, uh, use this and you install your WordPress portal. Give it a title. Let's give it a good one. My video tutorial. Okay, uh, that's good now username and you need to provide a email address okay if you don't want search engine bots to crawl your website you can just uh, enable all check the discourage button there okay now login okay so this is the normal one that uh, people will see uh, the website view let's go to uh, admin view enter the username or the email address which you want and the password okay this is your uh, wordpress admin dashboard now you can upload some theme and uh, customize it uh, as per your requirement Hope you find the video informative enough. Please do subscribe my channel and like or share whichever you prefer the best. Thank you.